Hi there, welcome back. So Wayne is doing the demonstration today and he, as you can see in front of him there, he's got a lot of different lovely mica powders from various different brands, makes and so on. Use whatever you feel happy with, but we're just showing you what we used. Beautiful lotus flower molds. You may have seen us use these in a previous video. If not, why not head over to our playlist and have a little look-see. So four of those and two of these gorgeous mini monstera leaves along with the giant one and our favourite Deco Art Premium Pen. So just showing you which uh, column of uh, mica powders I'm going to use here in this particular mould. They are from Timu. Again, as usual, everything we've used in this in this um, video will be linked in the description box with any discount codes and so on that uh, may be available that we can share. If we get any more, of course, we will also share those with you. So there we are. We we'll just applied some to the first one, then turned it over and gave it a little tappy whappy, a little tap, 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 just to get rid of any excess mica powder. So here we are, I'm just applying use, this using a regular paintbrush, tapping it over onto the other one, and then obviously this is waste not want not, <laughs> as it were, with the mica powder. So using then the moss green from Arteza. Arteza don't seem to be available for mica powders in the UK through Amazon currently. Not sure quite why that is. You can get it if you go on to the US version of Amazon. Or as I said just now, what you can actually do is use whatever colours you have or brand that you feel happy using. So we just applied the moss. Now we're applying this gorgeous metallic gold. Love it just love the way it finishes this off and yes I've said before I'm a little bit obsessed with this gold metallic this is mica powder because I'm machine more like a metal powder so just tap that over into the uh, other mold that I'm doing and there we go adding some more in do this on a piece of paper so anything that you um, don't use that if you can see what's happening here with me obviously I've been a little bit over generous with some of the powder and you tap it out or you brush it out of the mold you can then use that as like your own blend of mica powder you could keep it in a separate little container so Wayne has made up some ghoul resin that is the brand that we're currently using it's a fantastic brand. It's a one-to-one -one mixing ratio and he's added in a little bit of mica white or brilliant pearl white mica powder and some of the green. So there he is. He's just uh, helping the resin get to all the sides and the corners of this mould, making sure that it does pick up all the detail of the mould because, of course, the last thing you really want is bubbles curing in the, mica. It's in the uh, resin itself in the mold and then pre, you know creating like little pits or dents in the finished piece because although I mean yeah it is repairable if that happens but we found it never quite looks right here he is with the other one just using up all of the resin that we had that you'd made up before pouring it in there we go can see, see all that lovely gold shimmering away there particularly at the moment in the UK this is great when we're doing this by you know lovely uh, natural light because we actually are having some sunshine here in the UK currently I better not speak too much about that because it'll be blink and summer will have gone that'll be in it so then this is the uh, 24 hours later and he's just going to demold these two lovely leaves he will then be reusing these two leaf moulds to make the other two coasters. And in case I hadn't said, these are coasters. Although you could use them for anything. You could put them, make them as part of a 3D picture in a box frame. Um, you could put them, uh, you could actually sink them into a tray as well. And you could do the lotus flowers. You could do um, some other flowers and you could have it as a tabletop. It's like a coffee table and so on. So there we go. I've got a little bit of overspill going on there in between those uh, sections of that mould. I actually off camera then went in and just trimmed those up using a little pair of scissors I'd got. 
So here he is. He's going to redo these two leaves. And he's uh, doing a slightly different colourway here. Mainly using the moss green. And, yeah, unfortunately he had forgotten, because it was like a day and a half beforehand, that I had used two different colour greens and the gold. <laughs> But that's okay because I actually think it all blends nicely anyway in this nice little colour combination that we've got going on. So here he is just doing the other mould. He did also then add some gold mica to it as well. There we go. Again, he, he would turn it over and tap it just to make sure that any excess does actually come out of the mould before pouring the resin in. So, whilst he was at doing that, he decided I'm going to make the giant Monstera leaf mould. So, he's <laughs> this is the centrepiece. So, this would be your centrepiece on a table or a console table or a hall table or a coffee table or could be as part of a nice sort of piece of sculpture to go on a wall. That would look lovely. Um, you could have these in all different colours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my mind is running away with me with ideas of what we could do here. So he's just using the moss green, which is by Arteza. Again, you're just applying it, brushing it on with a dry, bristled, regular paintbrush. There we go. Almost there with this. Hopefully you're still watching with us. I appreciate this is a little bit longer, um, but there's a lot of steps to this uh, collection or this... Uh, finish the finished pieces um, so I hope you're enjoying the video why not let us know in the comments what colours would you do these if you could do these in any colour what would it be there you go. so he's just filled up the other mole with the resin as you can see it's a lot darker than the other two there we are uh, what I should also say is that when we leave things to cure, we do go back and check on them for like every 10, every 15 minutes for a good couple of hours or so. Uh, give them a bit of a spritz on the surface with some isopropyl alcohol, just in case any little bubbles have come to the surface, uh, so that when the piece cures, it doesn't have any bubbles on it. There we are, it's just topping up the large Monstera leaf mould here with some more resin, making sure that it's going into all the details of that mould. Make sure that when you do work with resin, that you do wear your gloves, you do wear a respirator and you work in a well-ventilated area, that you wear arm protectors or sleeve arm protectors if you have them, and of course that you just wear some old clothes, don't ruin your clothes. Um, although mica powder, you can wash it out. Resin, you can't. <laughs> So this is the following day. Now Wayne is happy to demold not wearing gloves, as, as am I, uh, because this is not tacky. This is dry to the touch. It's slightly bendable still, but it is dry to the touch. Oh, look at that. Just picked up a little bit of the gold there, glistening away. Carefully remove the mold, that's it. Doesn't look like there's any overspill on this one. Oh, slight, it gives it a bit of a gold sheen. So there are those two. And here is the giant leaf. Oh, could you imagine if you did these as placemat settings? <gasps> Gosh, I mean, it would take a lot of resin. Um, we have made placemats, a set of placemats, a set of six, along with coasters little four little nibble bowls and a giant flower mold for a bowl a giant flower bowl mold sorry um a few videos back it was all done in blues whites gray silver why not go back check that out in the playlist i think that was in two parts um but you know and that was as a special present oh look at the way that, i like the color combinations there now onto these lovely lotus flower moulds. Wayne is turning them inside out. These are very good moulds. They are from Timu. Uh, any uh, discount codes that we've got that are still valid, we will post in the description box along with all the other items and products that we have used in this video. Here you go. And just to give you the heads up, 
if it hasn't already gone out, we do have another Timu haul video coming out very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you hit the notification bell and uh, or button and uh, so that you know when that one's come out because, boy, did we have fun with that order. And there are so many possibilities let's just put it that way with what we ordered and what we can make so so looking forward to that um we are still working on the website it is taking some time i'm sure you can appreciate that uh we're not web designers we're not website designers um although uh, hugo who does all our audio and video editing and has um he does all the publishing of the videos and uh, and so on. He is very, very proficient and um, very, very good just basically at anything IT and techie involved. So um, he is the one that's currently working on our website when he's not doing his regular day job like the rest of us, you know. <laughs> Anyway, Wayne supplied the lovely yellow to the centre seed part of the mould for the lotus flower. A little bit of that lovely red. I don't think we had any footage of him doing that with the red. And now he's using this gorgeous amethyst purple colour. Now, I wasn't sure on the colour combination, but he did tell me he had consulted the oracle that is Google uh, for, you know, pictures and images of lotus flowers and so on and he said you know even if he is applying a little bit of poetic and artistic well artistic license regarding colors it is it's not bad so actually rather than just do it in white and cream which is what I, the only colors i've ever really seen it in or the palest of pinks he said no nope, no nope. and he was quite adamant and the end result does actually prove that he was quite he should you know i'm glad he stuck to his guns and um to his decision, let's just put it that way. <laughs> need to believe in the process. I need to believe in the process. <laughs> so he's applying this, well, I think this one's called lettuce. It's green. Reminds me, a hmm, bit of iceberg lettuce, I suppose. Hmm, maybe. So again, he's just using the same technique as he's used before with applying it to the mold it does go on his hands um like i said you can wear gloves if you want but we always find it pretty difficult when you are trying to apply mica powders um to things if you use gloves because quite often it'll come off on the gloves it does go on to your hands here now we're absolutely fine with that. Um, it, it doesn't cause us any allergic reactions and so on. But if you're uncertain at all, please wear your gloves. Mica powder is also a particularly fine grade of uh, pigmented powder. So make sure that you're working in a well-ventilated area and also that you're wearing uh, a respirator mask. If it gets on your skin, you can just it will just wash off with regular um, bit of dish soap and water some warm water and it rubs off there we go it's almost like hulk green that color isn't it it's a real like garden pea green color now i wasn't again i wasn't sure and this just tells me i should believe in the process um that it would pick up and we'd get a darker colored green but it does so as you can see there's a lot of leftover resin falling on that piece of paper at the end of when he'd finished dusting all the moulds, he picked it up and he just popped it back into that little green pot there on the right hand side. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? So he's just turning it back the right way. Look at that. Real colour change difference. Looks gorgeous, I think, those. So you could just have these as flowers, little decorative pieces around your home. Um, you know, uh, or you can use these as candle holders. Now they're not for tea lights. Here we are, Wayne's just made up some resin, added some of the green pea colour. Again, it's school resin, one to one mixing ratio. Added in a little bit of the garden pea green colour mica, stirred it up and he's just pouring it into the mould. So yeah, the, the you could these, once they're demoulded, you'll see what I mean. But 
you can use them as candle holders for the very tall, thin pillar candles, the kind that would go in candelabras. So you could put them in there. So here we are using my all-time favourite Deco uh, Art Pen. It gives a real mirror sort of sheen. Lovely chrome mirror finish with the silver and the gold is just sumptuous gold shininess. Shininess such a word? I don't think it is. But uh, yeah, so he's just using it here. He's just pressed down a bit firmly a few times just there on the left hand side of the of that uh, piece of paper and then he's using a very fine artist artist brush just regular brush to go in and paint in all those veins details so he did that on the remaining three coasters the small monstera leaves and now he's just doing the detail part of the seed pod middle set middle part of the lotus flowers so it's just those little round circles in there do you see what I mean about the gold mirror sheen shine look to it? It's beautiful. We have found that a lot of other golds are just, they're either like a dirty gold colour, brownish gold. They're not brilliantly mirror sheen like enough for us. Um, we do tend to go through this particular type, this colour of this pen rather a lot, very quickly. Which reminds me, I must order another one. <laughs> there we go. So almost finished with this piece. With the seed head part of it. I think it's called the seed head. I'm not 100% certain. There we go. Last one being done. There. Now, there's a lot of un uh, indecision here before he did this. But what he's decided to do, just to try and tie that gold in, is just to highlight the very tips, the very edges of these, the inner um, section of these petals of the flower, of the lotus flower. So this is our artistic license being em employed here, should we just say. There we are. Couple more of those petals to go. They look gorgeous. So he repeated this process with the other three flowers as well. There we are. Look really stunning. Would look lovely on a tray, in a detailed part of a tray perhaps. It's gorgeous. So over to the large Monstera leaf. So this is your centerpiece. And he's just doing exactly the same technique as he did with the smaller monstera leaves um, with the coast on the coasters. So he's just painting in the gold paint into the veins there. Of course, you can use any gold paint that you want. You don't have to paint them at all if you don't want to. Or if you would rather mix up some um, resin and just tape off the edges uh, of the side of the mould and pour it resin in, then of course you can. You can. I'm sorry, I don't know why we've got a shaky camera going on there. Apologies for that. But he then finished doing that. And then once that had dried, yeah. Now, I didn't know at this point uh, that he wasn't quite happy with one of the edge of the petals there. But I don't know if you could see, we'd got a little bit, an air bubble had got trapped. So when he took it out the mould, he realised that it had left. Did you see that sort of, it, it dips in? and then goes back up again. Now, that would have been very difficult to try and repair. So what you can't see, apologies, it's off camera here a bit. I don't know if you can see a little sneaky clip of a wing there. In a previous video of ours, a, a recent one, we have made up some dragonflies, a big one, some mini ones, and some butterflies. And what he's done is he's used one of the little miniature dragonflies that I made, and uh, he's glued it to cover up onto this lotus flower to cover up where that slight little embell that little you know that little um dip is on the outer leaf so you can see his body actually of the dragonfly sits quite nicely in it <laughs> so there we go just applying enough pressure there to make it stick 
go careful when you're using super glue so you don't stick yourself to your project or your fingers to it to your fingers and so on so just make sure that you're very careful with that and here now again a lot of discussion I'm just zooming out there so you can actually see it uh, there we are a lot of discussion as to where do we put this so we wanted to make this a permanent placement for two of these candle holders and the other two well it's just so that you can put them anywhere else on your table on your table setting or can you imagine these though these would look lovely as placemats mmm a lot of resin to use for placemats but they would look stunning in any colour they'd look stunning so here's the final shot hope you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and uh, we will see you again very, very soon with another video. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.